Hey guys, once again, I'm back. So we have um, our second opening of the year. We have four um, Pokemon card tins, but not just any Pokemon card tins. All four of these tins were on clearance for $13 each. I bought four today in hopes of pulling some good cards. These are the um, Paldean Partners tins. Yeah, Paldea Partners tins. I opened these initially on when they first came out in stores on September 1st, 2023 in the five pack tins. But in the four, these are the four pack ones that are more slimmer and goodbye to like the tall four pack ones because you're probably never going to see those again or as often unless V Heroes tins keep, four pack tins keep coming out and I get more evolving cries. Let's take an overview of what you get in here. So first off, we're going to start with our promo card. A Quackleval EX card is your promo for this one. I was able to get two Quackleval and two um, um, Skeldurge, but no Meowscarada. And Meowscarada is my favorite, so rip. And here's your code, if I didn't say that earlier. And for the four packs in here, you get one Obsidian Flames, another Obsidian Flames, a Silver Tempest, and a Lost Origin. All right. So I know what we're going to have the most of, and then just this silly old cardboard. Which I don't need. We can unbox this Skeleturge one next. Same deal with the others. These are the... First time seeing a Scarlet Violet set in 2024, and it's Obsidian Flames. And Lost Origin and Silver Tempest have also joined for the first time in 2024. So I've seen five sets in two days. Let's take out our promo and our code. A Skeleturge EX with a code card attached. And then our four booster packs. Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Silver Tempest, and Lost Origin. This is not, this whole thing was a hoax. This time, like the... Like the Dragonite. The, the Salmons and Dragonite reprint tins. If those were the original, I would have definitely bought as many as possible. But we did not find any. And also, if you could tell, my thumbnails are short because I bit them off. I do not like using clippers because they make my nails feel aggravating. And I think I bit these too well, unfortunately. So now they're going to be like this for a little bit. And they're going to kind of hurt. Take off the $13 plastic wrapping and then give you your promo, Quackleval, and our code card. And then we have four more booster packs, and I think you can guess what these are. Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Silver Tempest, and Lost Origin. So we know what we're going to have for the last tin. Unfortunately, the, none of these can carry Evolving Cries. It would be very fun to have these have Evolving Cries in them if they did, but we can't, so too bad. Too bad, so sad. The Crydon Maridon four-pack ones I don't think I've opened, and I think they're in store, too. If I can find them for clearance, I'll open uh, about a, a full case of them, however many a full case is. Skeldurge EX promo and a code card, and then we get our four booster packs out all here. It's Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Silver Tempest, and Lost Origin. Another Lost Origin 
three out of the four have these stupid fucking enamorous artwork and I hate enamorous because it don't it looks ugly in my opinion. I'm like you guys. You're all beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Anyways, so we for we have our sixteen booster packs and we are gonna be going in the order of we're gonna start off with eight packs of obsidian flames in hope of pulling in hopes of pulling the Charizard SIR. Four silver tempest in hopes of pulling the Lugia. And of course Lost Origin in hopes of pulling. Do I need to go in any more detail on what we it's what we tried to pull on Christmas and couldn't. But we have to start off with Obsidian Flames first. Raging Flame, Forged in Darkness. This set is still pretty new. It came out August 23. I think it came officially released August what? what was the first? Oh, August 11th, 2023. Energy, Finizen, Marvesta, Fungus, Pidgey, Pupitar, Togetic, Ninetales, Grumpig, Reverse, Hot. Oh, we got Gold, Artisan, Gold Card, and a Victini EX in the very first pack of the opening. You know what this means? These tins were worth buying. Congratulations. We just, we just pulled out a Gold Card on our first pack. We pulled a Double Banger with a Gold Card on our first pack. That doesn't happen often. Probably have not have stepping up to have the best tins opened on January 2nd, 2024. We have another pack of Obsidian Flames. We got all four. Yeah, right. Yeah, we did. We're saving a Charizard for last. Uh-huh. I love saving Charizard for last. SIR is the only, like, really... The best one you can get in the set, of course. I don't think I need to explain what this is. You can probably guarantee yourself to see at least 15 of these tins opened by the end of this year. Eevee, Mawile, Arvin, Stunfisk, Aldean Wooper. Nope, that's not a rare. No. A Skarmory and a Skull Villain. So that pack was a dud, but that's okay because we got. We had a. We had a banger second pack. So there's that. There's your code card. In case you know, and also watch out for Dark Phoenix. He's AP 3DO, much like Kai, and things are going bad for things. And there's a small of card. I like small of cards because small of the doll of um, whatever the evolution line is. Blossom. Hey, a Pidgeotto illustration around. That's our third hit of the day. We have a hollow Entei behind it, which doesn't mean anything. Fourth pack of Obsidian Flames with a great streak going, although the second pack did not do anything. We made up for it in the first pack because of our code card. No Peeksy action. Cubchoo, Spoink, Bellabolt, Trevident, Electros, Palti Geist, no nope. Lunatone, Palafin. So nothing on that pack either. Next pack of Obsidian Flames, Raging Flames. Yeah, Raging Flames, Forged and Dark. Okay. I'll also be doing some voice acting here in a little bit if I can figure out how. I will be voice acting a cur cursor from whatever that sh show is, like something, object, whatever. Eevee, Toadstool, Houndour, Wishcash, Floatzel, Umbreon. Hey, you're not the Moonbreon. Get out of here, Rhyme. Nope, Team Stargrunt, Doxtricity. There's another dead pack, unfortunately. I'm calling a hit in here. It's going to be an SIR, and it's going to be the Charizard, and we will have finally, we will have pulled it. 
Although it's not really that expensive, I'd be happy to get the Charizard SIR out of here. Vulpix, Sand Pump, Paldean Wooper, Volcarona, Altaria, Houndoom, Magnezone, which isn't a rare. Oh, nope. Paldean Claude Sire, and another Entei for the Hollow. We have two packs left of Obsidian, and we still have not pulled an SIR. Pull the Gold Card out of pack number one. Gives a set of Set a good tone for the opening. If I do say so myself. What's that like? Another gold card was that the second one I pulled within like not even a just a little over a week. Seventh and second to last code card. Energy. Sound sweet. Full picks. Fan, fan, don't fall. Phantom. Caldean Wooper. Charmeleon. Excadrill. Pidgeotto. Soul Rock in reverse, Heat more in reverse, hey, and a Pidgeot EX card, and we have another hit. Number four of the day. Final pack of Obsidian Flames, chance at the Charizard. Yeah, it'd be easier if I didn't bite my fingernails off the previous night, that's for sure. Final pack of Obsidian Flames, and this will be the halfway mark to our opening as I nearly dump all the cards out. That's your last Obsidian Flames code card, and then we can move on to Silver Tempest in hopes of pulling the Lugia V alternate art we've been looking for since, for over one year now. Melton! Hey! Pidgeot EX SIR! Oh, well, that's a really good. That is another really good card. Was that our fifth hit of the day? It's another Obsidian Flames big hitter. Unbelievable. Now it's time for Silver Tempest. In hopes of Lugia to be the pull of the century. code. We're not going to be paying attention to the color, and we're not going to be peeking in the back. It's an SIR, but not the Czar that we're looking for. Energy, Toracat, Palisand, Dragonair, Relicant, Halucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Drowsy, Behem, not a rare, Arcanine is the rare, non-hollow. Second pack, Silver Tempest. something in the middle, but I don't know if that's a V-Star marker or an actual hit. Did I see any white back here? No, it's, a, it's something. I think. Maybe. Or I'm just being seeing things. Clang, Lance, Emolga, Meditite, Durant, Ralts, Fletchling. We have a trainer gallery, so we're going to take the card of the back, assuming Bravery a regular rare. Corviknight, the trainer gallery. We're pulling hits back and forth. We probably already made more than $52 off this opening. Third pack of Silver Tempest and second to last chance of us pulling the Giratina. Code. Ignore the dogs barking outside. They're just... They see something all the time. Toxicroak, Jinx, Toxapex, Ralph, Mistrevis, Welmer, Murkrow, and all the cards are going down on the bed. Amolga, Radiance Arena, yet another hit. Tease Louise, we're pulling hits back and forth. Oh, I called you non hollow. Now we go to our last Silver Tempest pack, and then we're on to Lost Origin. Lost Origin Island. Keep seeing white codes, giving us no chance of pulling what, what, what I really hope we can pull. Alugia from Silver Tempest. It's an alternate. Teeny Chinchow, Metatite, Dupiter, Ponyta, the Dene, and an Arcanine regular rare again. So there's another failed pack. And now we have our last four packs, and they're all Lost Origin. And 
in all my hopes to pull a Giratina alternate art card. Because I've been looking for that longer than I... I've struggled to pull that more than I've pulled... Struggled to pull that more than any alt art from Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is supposed to be like the hardest set to pull. One of the hardest sets to pull cards from, and I've pulled four alternate art cards. One of them being, of course, the Moon Rion. Shellos, Binnacle, Porygon, Decklet, Cascoon, and a Politoed, regular rare. We still have not hit a hollow rare card yet. I mean, a regular hollow, but, and of course, no SV cards don't count. They're guaranteed hollows at a minimum, and we pulled like. We got our like best pull in opening of this year so far. And that's pretty nice to hear because we you know, I really shouldn't have bit my nails off last night before I made this video because look at me now. Why did it feel like there were like more cards in the pack? Maybe there is more cards in, in the pack. Now I'm just seeing things I think. No Peak, Energy Lost City, Carbink, Komala, Clefairy, Pretty Girl, I love Pretty Girl Azalea. Stop falling or I'm going to throw you all onto the floor. Porygon, Inkay, Blipbug, Electros, that's a Rare Reverse, finally. God, why did it take this long to pull a Rare Reverse and a Macargo, regular Rare, rip. Yeah, we, we have two packs left. Two packs left, and we've had an astounding opening of City and Flames is most certainly going away the winner, going home the winner today, unless another, unless a Giratina, a Giratina V alternate art can be pulled out of this pack. Or the next one. We have two packs left. That's one of your code cards. There's a V-star marker in here, meaning we probably don't have anything. A Suing Arcanine Trainer Gallery, aside from that, another Electros card. This time, this is a regular rare. And now, we go to the final pack of the opening. Will we pull the Giratina? I don't think we can. Another pack that has a V-Star marker in there. Damage Pump, Saviper, Glaring Stunfisk, Ducklet, Hisuian Zerua, Binnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, Relicanth in Reverse, and a Manectric Regular Rare. That means all Hollow Rares were not in existence. I don't think we have an opening like that where we have like every rarity except for Hollow Rares. So I should be seeing all white codes from the Sword and Shield sets. Just a big span of white codes and we still pull hits like out of the trainer gallery. Yeah, see that's eight white codes. That, that's eight white codes in the first eight roll from the City and Flames over there. The, the codes that were black. Obsidian Flames most certainly went home with the, the title of winning today. It was not even a close battle. After pack number one, it was just cemented. So there, there's that. There's your opening. You should definitely go pick these up. I'm going to probably buy another, like, 15 of these and try to pull the Giratina or Lugia or Charizard. One of those three cards, and I would like to pull at least one by the end of 2024, if possible. I would most certainly want to pull a second Moon Brion by the end of 2024, and et cetera, et cetera. And I will see you later for another opening.